Hello and welcome to Forever Rugby on Forever Sports. An interesting news story today um, that Bulls, should they make it to the URC final and on the off chance get to host the URC final, might not be able to play the game at Loftus Fairsfeld. Um, and as such, might have to look at alternative venues if they are to host the URC final with the likes of a Soccer City Orlando Stadium, even Ellis Park uh, being floated as potential alternative venues for the Bulls should they get to host the URC final, which would be the first time ever that they'd host a URC final. And uh, for me, probably their best chance of actually winning the URC would be getting that home ground advantage. And yet they might not have their home um, for that home ground advantage. Before we get into exactly why this could be the case and uh, what the current conversations are, please do smash like on the video. Please do subscribe to the channel as well. So the Bulls currently sit, um, well, finished second on the log for the URC, which means that they have a home quarterfinal this weekend against Benetton. Should they win that, they will have a home semifinal. Um, should Munster lose in the either the quarters or the semifinals um, and Bulls win their semifinal, they will then be the highest ranked team in the final and will have the right to host the final. Uh, which for me, I think, as I said, I mentioned, I think that's the best chance they have of winning the, the tournament is potentially getting that home final. Um, however, the weekend and uh, timing could not be worse because that is the official weekend and the Saturday has been um, marked in the calendar as the official day uh, for the presidential inauguration. Uh, in South Africa. Obviously, we had our elections last week, Wednesday. Uh, the results were confirmed on Sunday, and there's currently uh, negotiations with the Polish and stuff like that. Very interesting time, actually, if you're into your sort of politics in South Africa, um, because we are looking at a coalition government and stuff like that. So, you know, a little bit of side note, things are quite cool. Um, however, the presidential inauguration, um, which was held at Loftus um, uh, in 2019, um, is set to play place on that Saturday, on, on the 22nd of June. Now, there's two scenarios here which both kind of make you know, Loftus as an availability for the final uh, almost possible. First of all, if they're actually using Loftus as part of the inauguration, because obviously then it's obviously being used. And second of all, even if they were to not use Loftus and they were to go to union buildings, because it's in such close proximity, um, it would be very unlikely that you'd be able to have a major rugby event, you know, with, you know, 40, 50,000 rugby fans trying to go to the stadium whilst you have a presidential inauguration, which will have thousands of people involved. The security will, um, will be tight. Um, it's it's just a massive security risk, to be honest, uh, and I don't think that they would allow it. Um, so that now currently leads the Bulls out of a potential stadium should they make that URC final. So then what are the alternatives? Well, they can take it back to Soweto. Um, to the Orlando Stadium, which is what they did back in 2010 with the FIFA World Cup. Uh, they had a similar issue when they were in the Super Rugby final um, with both Ellis Park as well as Loftus being used as part of the, the, the FIFA World Cup. meant that there were no other stadiums available apart from Orlando Stadium where the Bulls went and beat the Sharks 25 points to 17 and a very, very big win. Uh, a slow occasion really that Hulse would go into Orlando, winning in Soweto. It was very cool. It was a nice moment in South African history. Uh, so that is an option, obviously, to go back to Orlando Stadium. The other option um, would be to go to the FNB Stadium or Soccer City, as people sort of more commonly know, know it as. Also based on, in Soweto, just outside. Um, massive stadium, well, you know, 80, 80, 85,000 people. So it'd be interesting to see if there were to go there. Just kind of what kind of crowd could they draw? Could we get... 60, 70,000 people into a stadium. You know, is that the kind of crowd the Bulls could draw if they were to get to the final? Um, then in theory, Ellis Park would be an option because it's not being used for a FIFA World Cup, for example. So it would be there um, if they wanted to reach out to their um, their, 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 their fellow countrymen in the Lions to see if that could potentially be an option for the stadium. So uh, interesting. Um, look, at the end of the day, they've got to get there first and they've got to hope the Munster do drop the game down, down the line. So it's not... A foregone conclusion it is i wouldn't say likely but it is a, a, a legitimate possibility you know it's not impossible for Munster to you know lose a game here and there um and and the bulls i think at home are, are looking very good so this could very well be a, a genuine issue in a few weeks time but uh, first things first the bulls are gonna have to be bent in this weekend um and then they're gonna have to beat um gonna have to win next weekend and then they'll sort of have to go from there what would your preference be? Orlando Stadium, f &B Stadium, Ellis Park, where would you host this game? Let me know down in the comments below. Smash the like on the video and subscribe to the channel as well. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Steve and I'll chat to you soon.